Where is Budokai? Where is Tenkaichi? <laughs> Where? Was too hopeful to expect a Bleach game, but it is always the unexpected that is happening. Jujutsu Kaisen, I hope I pronounced it right, the only two things that I know about this anime. There is a character there that fights you based on your perverted preferences, and the best way to beat him is to turn gay mid-fight, and then ungay yourself. And that there is a guy named Gojo, that is like ridiculously strong. That's it, that's all I know. By the time we talk about this series again, I will be well versed in Juju Kaisenesis. But right now, let me watch this trailer and tell you what I think about it based on my gaming experience. First off, can somebody explain to me how we can make great looking mobile games? But our Juju Kaisen game for PS5 era looks like it's supposed to be on PS3 at best. I don't know, but the visuals ain't anything. Don't care about the visuals, let the gameplay be great. And just judging by what what I'm seeing here, it kinda remind kinda reminds me of One Punch Man A Hero Nobody Knows game and My Hero Games. This is where we look at the developer. And what do you know? Developed by Biking, they made My Hero Games. From here, what can I expect? The floatiness is here to stay. I don't even know if Jujutsu Kaisen characters can fly, but they will fly in this game. Might even wall stick, regardless if there is or isn't a reason for that. I know it says 2 vs 2 battles, but 1 vs 1 is most likely going to be there too, as well as environmental destruction, and hopefully a decent netcode. At least I don't remember myself experiencing a lot of issues with the netcode when I try to conjure memories about One's Justice games. There's also a rather curious line in the article, it says, by completing battles, players increase their fighter's power level, unlocking stronger attacks as they progress. I mean, I don't mind leveling up my panda as long as it's not grindy, and as long as there aren't a lot of characters that are required to do so, because just looking at this trailer, it seems like they introduced 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like uh, 7 or 8 characters. I mean, the guy on the right is just the form of the main character, right? Or is that the same? Another dude. Anyway, the release date says coming soon, which means it can be this year, or it might be next year, or it might be somewhere unknown year, which means a lot can change by then. But right now, I can't see anyone in my audience being like, Wow, when Gojo says it's Kaizen in time, I jujued all over the floor. That is, seems to be the greatest game that is going to come out in the recent years. I am so grateful. So far it's just, uh, alright, I'll look to it, but I don't have high expectations. I'd even go as far as to say that the first My Hero trailer actually raised a lot more hype than this one. Even though, to be fair, the first trailer for uh, Naruto Strong Connections was pretty whack, but the trailer they showed at this anime expo was kinda good. I just wish I wasn't transported back into 2011, where I have to watch those handheld uh, phone camera footage to see the changes and the gameplay and everything like that. On one hand it's kind of funny, but on the other I wish we would have set a standard where a developer would come out and say, hey, um, I know this looks uh, a lot like the previous games, so here are the changes that we're bringing to this game, and this is why we made these changes. If you want to try it for yourself, the demo is out next week. But this is a perfect world, where we also get a Goku Naruto costume from Storm 3. Instead, there is something even greater. We get a highly anticipated return of Naruto Gondola outfit. 